Okay, so today we're gonna do a spicy cauliflower power bowl. Could easily do it with butternut squash instead of the cauliflower. You could do it with sweet potato. You could do it with broccoli. You could do it with just about any vegetable that you could roast. So just uh, if you don't have cauliflower, but you did have another vegetable, the technique of roasting it is gonna be exactly the same. So I'll start by um, prepping the cauliflower. So we have this beautiful little cauliflower here and we're gonna core it. And so to core it, I'll cut around it. And then just cut small florets out of that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little extra virgin olive oil. and a little salt, kosher salt, and some cracked black pepper. So that that was one head of cauliflower and probably a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil and a teaspoon of kosher salt and then a little cracked black pepper. And then just mix that up. Okay, so this is what we're gonna start with in terms of roasting. There it is. Right and I have my oven on about 400. Um, so that should roast in about 15 or 20 minutes. I have a baking stone in the oven, so that I leave that baking stone in there. And uh, things tend to cook a little quicker when you put them directly on the stone. And then while that's going, we can get the quinoa going. So um, the quinoa is just gonna be quinoa and water. And it's a two to one um, ratio. So I will get my two cups of water. For the water, just like with pasta, you're gonna salt the water a little bit. So that's two cups of water and about half a teaspoon of salt. Bring that to a boil. Well, a lightly salted water, two to one ratio, and added the quinoa. I cut, um, across the onion this way. I don't make a lateral cut. So then the quinoa has come to a boil, and so then I'm just gonna turn it down as low as the my flame will go and cover it. Now that I've chopped the onion, we're gonna start the sauce for this. And the sauce for it is sriracha and coconut milk. And so I've got my coconut milk here. And I always find coconut milk to be kind of a, uh, lottery in terms of what you're going to find when you open the can. Temperatures make a difference and then producers make a difference. And So for this one I'm going to use olive oil as well. So that's just going to cook until it is translucent. And then we're going to add the uh, hot pepper sauce and the coconut milk. And I'll just check my cauliflower here. Okay, so I'm gonna eyeball this, whoops, whoa, at about uh, a tablespoon. Let's see what this looks like. So I'm gonna reduce the heat there. I used about a little over half the can, say three quarters of a can. I feel like it's gonna be too soupy. and I'll put a little salt. So now the last thing I want to do is do these garbanzos. And I'm gonna do it a little bit different than the um, uh, recipe that I sent to Sherry. I, I, I had put in there that I was gonna do the kale and the sauce, but I think I'm gonna do it as a separate component. So, um, Medium-sized pan, once again, some olive oil. And I've got my garbanzos. So this got, this got nicely creamy. I don't know if you can see it there. It got nicely creamy and uh, it didn't break at all. That's one of those lottery things about coconut milk because I find some of them will break, um, but this one stayed uh, emulsified. Um, and by break, you know, I, it gets watery and clumpy and stuff. Um, but this didn't. It stayed nicely creamy, and that will that will coat the um, uh, cauliflower nicely. So I think 
potato here. Okay, so um, a little bit of garlic, and I'm just gonna do thin slices of garlic. So I'm just gonna lightly saute this garlic in a little bit of olive oil. I don't wanna brown it at all, I just wanna bring out the flavor. And then I'm gonna add the um, drained garbanzos. So this is my kale. So again, all the components, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm just gonna flip it over a little bit. Try to get some even, even heat. That's about what I got right now. A little touch of water will get this um, kale wilted a little quicker. So just check. Back in the quinoa there, it looks like all the water has been absorbed. So tilting it over to the side, I'm not seeing any water. So I'll just fluff that with a fork. The same way you would do rice. Just kind of fluff it, give it a little stir. And then that can sit covered until you're ready to put everything together. Quinoa doesn't have that starchiness of rice, so it tends to stay kind of nice and separate. Okay. So I think we can bring out the cauliflower. And I'm gonna add it to this sauce. So the last two components while that uh, kale cooks are a little bit of parsley for a garnish and um, some avocado. You know, you could use on this rice, lentils, you know, there's a whole bunch of different directions you could go with the same concept. So I have an avocado. Okay, so I'm going to do the base of the bowl with the quinoa. This looks really good. So this is, let's see, can you see? Yeah. Mm. So the recipe called for parsley, but I thought to myself, um, cilantro, you know, on this one. A little lime juice, I think. 